Now we're going to play a game of Have You Ever? Yeah. Wait, yes, I'm excited. Yes. <laughs> Have you ever been excited? Yes, okay. Have you ever been late for a show? Yes. <laughs> Shut Bitch, up, honey. That's a you lie, You need one girl. in like bold, big ass letters. That's Here, honey, a lie. Can I take mine too? Can I take it? Okay, listen. <laughs> listen. Can I take all of ours? Okay, I have, I'm on a journey to fix my problem around time, mm -hmm. and that journey has just begun. I'm I'll here. believe it when I see it, honey. <laughs> I have a funny story for you guys with Honey Davenport. One time we were okay. doing a show uh -oh. before I was on Drag Race and before she was on Drag Race, she showed up to the gig like half an hour late with no eyelashes and she got on the stage with no... Bitch, I and she to... got on the stage with two feathers that she found from a boa in the back of the dressing room. And I looked sickening. You did. And I so, oh, she put on the thing? I was like... Put on the lashes? I got a funny story about Miss You How. She what happened? slipped through um, her call time for the show and I'm like, where are you? And you showed up with no lashes, girl. Remember when you came in? Yes. And you had like just a liner. I was like, oh, that's a cute look. I didn't, if, had you not said anything, I would not have known. It was literally me with like foundation, a piece of eyeliner, no lashes, that was it. a wig with bangs. I looked like you shit. Guys, you didn't girl. even have eye makeup, girl. I looked like I shit. Know. What about you, Scarlett? Oh, uh, absolutely. I've been late for things. There was a time that I did drag that was before Uber and Lyft. That's much harder. Yeah. Yes. Remember a time when you couldn't call. A car service, like mm -hmm. on your with an app, like you had to like I had to like call. It was called Bushwick Car Service, and I would call them every money. every night. Well, no, I mean it was just like you know a car. It was like I lived in Bushwick. There's no taxis. What am yeah. I gonna do? I can't just yeah. take the train all the time. I take the train. Do you guys? Well, I used to take the train a lot. I too, don't take the train and drag. Uh, I used to take the train a lot. I don't do it anymore. Yeah. I, I, I used to take the train and drag. I'll be like, eh, whatever. I don't give a fuck. But now, as you do drag more and more, you're like, yeah. fuck this. I don't want to deal with the public. I don't want to be seen. Well, sometimes you do because I actually was in drag on the way to a gig a couple weeks ago, and that was one of the last times I hope to be taking the subway <laughs> to a gig. And there was this very handsome cowboy who passed me a note oh. saying that he was a big fan of my um, Princess Diana for Harper's Bazaar and to keep oh. up the good work, Scarlett. Oh. oh. And he passed it to me like a, like he folded it up. And That's he passed so it to nice. Me. That is so really that was sweet. really great. That's and I crumpled it up and screamed at the train that was late. So it wasn't like you know. Well, the last nice strike moment. for me nice on the subway was I was taking the subway home in drag one night, and there was this like homeless lady who looked crazy, <laughs> and I was it just was like, me. it was <laughs> you, you <laughs> hot. And, and I turned to, I turned to my friend and I was like just like. Kind of like, don't acknowledge her. She looks a little crazy. And I said, like, I don't remember. And she said, you want to see crazy? And she stood up and she took a shit on the floor. Oh, so no, girl. After that, I was like, oh. <laughs> that, that, that's too, why, too good for the subway. Me, bitch. That's why we're wearing flip-flops in New York City, honey. No. She just spread her legs open and took a no, shit right no. on her. Now, did she wipe up with anything? Her no, hands? No, I'm sure she I didn't. Got no, up the next Imagine she got up on the pole and just started wiping herself on the pole. Ah! Why is, why is that where your imagination goes? I don't know, but I think that sounds like a pretty good music video. Okay. No. Now, next question. Have you ever snuck into a bar underage? Uh, well, yeah. Back to why I started drag. No sugar cane? No. I was no? Like, no? There no. weren't bars when sugar cane I, was up there. No. Ah! <laughs> no, no, I was a good kid. I lived in the mountains of California, girl. There was no bars around me. Like, no, girl. I, I, waited, I, I waited till I was like full on. Okay. I actually think that it's a no for me too because there were like underage clubs when I was younger. Oh girl, it was quite the opposite. Oh I yes, all up in there. I go to 18 and over in San Francisco, the Palladium, girl. I don't, I don't even think it exists anymore. We used to go dancing. Yeah, there were a lot of clubs before that was like 18 plus. Now yes. it's just like 21. Right. But it's yes. kind of sad for people that are underage when I see a drag show and they can't. Right. Yeah. Isn't I worked. Sad? I worked at uh, TNT for three years before I celebrated my twenty-first birthday. Work? Yeah. I was doing. Yeah. I was working as a drag queen before then too. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I remember your twenty-first birthday. Yeah. Next question: Have you ever stolen a drag mix from another drag performer? No. No. Never. Mostly Never. because I don't want to take the time to learn yeah. the words to a mix. Um, <laughs> well, I've done. I have to do my own. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. No. 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 Um, I've done uh, just 
uh, like just uh, shows, I don't know if I can say the name of the shows, but like sh shows that the, the numbers are set for you already. You know that you're doing you're okay. you're impersonating this person. We used to oh do yeah yeah yeah. Oh, yeah. they gave you a mix. And you I mean, they that. you have to do what they give yeah. you. Um, but other than that, you know, I think that's part of the cool part about yeah, making like, it's like your something. choice. Absolutely. Yeah. What you're gonna make people listen yeah. to. I also like like and oh, okay, so a lot of queens do mixes, especially a lot of ones from New York City. But I've I love this like task that I've given myself as a drag performer of holding an audience's attention for three and a half minutes to one oh, song. Oh yes, I love mm -hmm. doing one song that is like my I like don't do a lot of mixes. Yeah. Like one song, if a song is written well, it has a beginning, mm -hmm. middle, and an end there for you. And a climax. Boom. Yeah. But I'm a comedy queen. I love stupid mixes, so I definitely do mixes. Um, but I also do mixes like a lot of girls do the same like some portions of the mixes. Do you know what I mean? Like there's always like, the, like, designing women, like right. those, those scenes that you do, but I just always do my own spin on it, which is so. There's so a turd on my car, that one with when, uh, what, right. what, 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 what's her name? Oh. Wanda oh, Sykes. Oh, right. oh yeah, right. I Wanda, but not that yeah. one. Yeah, I've actually yeah, started to like, <laughs> to like start to rethink the drag mix because I am a recording artist and, and I, write, I write my own music. I've started writing music for my shows that has my own comedy in it as like as if it was a drag mix, right. but my one-liners in it. What? So then it's like a little more personal. Otherwise, otherwise, I'm just like moving my mouth to Wanda Sykes. We already know she's funny. She's Same. already toned that joke. Like, I got my own sis. Going back uh, to what you were saying before, how in New York City we perform for two to three hours, but in different cities, you perform out there for like literally two numbers and that's it. Perfect. Not, well, you know, we work hard that's, in New York. I mean, that's, th that's how it works out in the cities. Where in New York City, you have to hold a show for an hour to two hours to three hours, and that takes a lot of work. Girl. But not just that, it yeah. trains you to be a professional Amazing. performer. I remember I, I used to come it. see you with Boots. Three to four hours. Yeah, oh my God. I do your four do. hours on a good night. I know, oh, but I, I've been almost, to the shows. It's like four I hours. Like, that was, yeah, they would make you two hours. Have you been to my show before? I think I have been. I used to no, the first pray. time I saw you was in uh, Fire Island. Uh, you were at Cherry. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, my God. I was performing for like five uh, people. Island Breeze or something. I like think that. the first. But you're hilarious and it was so entertaining. But like, you literally, like, you did a show, girl. Like, I think we were there for like two hours. I remember. Like, I remember. It was so fun. And, it was like, 4th yeah. of July, right? Yes. I remember. Yeah, I, I, used to, I, I used to DJ you her show and I used to pray for that shit to end. <laughs> I was like, why are you going on for so she long? Wild, girl. I, I love it. live, too. When we came on Friday. Friday, she was like, we gonna do this viewing party and the show after I said, no queen, we gonna Bitch, do this show. you short. got me together. Like, we are doing, no girl, yeah. like, we do our little numbers, we get the kids and then we're out. Like, I swear, I'm not trying to open Juha it. sent me, uh, she sent me, like, uh, gave me a USB with like maybe like 80 songs. And I was like, oh cool, so she's all set up. I didn't know she planned on doing all, all 80, 80 songs. songs. I didn't do <laughs> every Friday. <laughs> no, she didn't do all 80, but like that list, like it was occasionally multiple pages. Well, well, the first time I saw you, I think you were performing in Fire Island as well, but it was like in the meat rack. No. <laughs> yeah, and I, there was, was, it, was that and real? You had, and you had an audience. For those people that are watching, the meat rack is basically two <laughs> islands that combine together. On Fire Island, it's where people go. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yes. Yes. Somebody actually uh, posted a picture of me taking a leak in the meat rack with my Miss Fire Island crown on, like the day after I got it. And I was like, yeah, and girl. this is what it yeah. really is. And I was like, yeah. you got it. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> She's Miss Fire Island, girl. <laughs> Have you ever lip synced a song that you didn't know the words to? Oh. Yes. <laughs> we're terrible yeah. drag queens. Well, like, I don't so think we're terrible. I think it shows your improvisational skills. Absolutely. Well, girl, I mean, if something ha happens in like the world and it's funny and I want to do a mix about it, I'll grab it. I want to do it first, so I will scramble to the words. Sometimes I'll be like, bitch, I don't know any of these damn words to anything. And so like, yeah, girl. I always want to do like the newest Nicki Minaj song ever. And then oh it's like a thousand it's, words. And then like, I think I got it. And you know, you always know the first verse and then you get to the second verse and you're like, you're like what the fuck is she singing? <laughs> yeah. I'm a good fan of turn around and act like I, you know, want to look at my ass in this part. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, have you ever made out with someone while in drag? Of course, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Can I draw Love an explanation us. point? That's why I like wearing glitter lipstick because like it doesn't like wipe off on lips or other parts Flesh. of human beings. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the girls of New York City from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 11. We have... Yes! I mean, honey, Davenport. <laughs> Scarlet Envy. And sugarcane, honey. <laughs> <laughs>